So is the as we get close to the 2021 NHL playoffs, uh, a lot of interest has been coming towards the Northern Division of the NHL, where all the Canadian teams are playing. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs are playing well. Connor McDavid is having a great season, uh, and a bunch of Canadians have finally got this rookie phenom in the lineup, scored an overtime uh, winner uh, on the, the weekend, where a lot of people felt that uh, he couldn't make the NHL because of his size, but this guy has been a known scorer from the time he started in hockey. Now, this new legend from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, great community, by the way, is called Cole Caulfield. Now, if anybody uh, follows the NHL draft, he was taken 15 overall by the Habs in the 2019 NHL entry draft. A lot of people felt that Montreal wasted a pick taking him so high because of his size. He's only 5'7", 165. But uh, according to scouts and experts uh, covering the NFL, he is has been identified as an elite goal scorer, which means no matter what happens, he's going to score counters. And we're going to go over uh, a little bit of his career to explain why. He, uh, he currently holds the USA Hockey National Team Development Program's all-time record for goals. Now, he had excellence in the NCAA as well as he played for the University of Wisconsin-Madison before signing with Montreal in late uh, 2021 uh, as part of a three-year contract. Now, he was also the recipient of the 2001 Hobie Baker Award given to the top National Collegiate Athletic Association men's ice hockey player. Now, when he first came to bear major recognition, it was for the Stevens Point Area High Squad of the USHS uh, program. In uh, 2016, he had 58 points in 22 regular season games, going 25 goals. And with Stevens Point, the second season, uh, tremendous numbers, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, almost a four-point-a-game pace, 50 goals and 29 assists for 79 points in 22 uh, contests. So he eventually moved to the U.S. Uh, development uh, program. Now, because he was uh, so highly scouted, following his sophomore year at UW-Madison, he agreed to turn professional. Now, on March 27, 2021, he inked a three-year entry-level contract with the Habs and again made his initial debut on April 26 in a win over Calgary by 2-1. Two, two now, he's represented the United States internationally at uh, many events. Now, uh, during the 2018 season, he took part in several uh, international tournaments under the age of 17, including the 2017 World Hockey Under-17 Hockey Challenge, where he had 13 points in six games, including eight goals. Now, he was named to the tournament all-star team and, uh, again, was a top goal scorer at the event. At the 2017 Four Nations Cup in Veliki Novgorod, Russia, Caulfield appeared in three games, six goals and one assist, while the NTDP Under-17 uh, finished first. In February 2018, he led the team with 10 points in four games, including uh, four goals. At the 2018 Five Nations Cup in Jarvanpa, Jarvanpa, Finland, en route to another NTDP U17 first place. Now at the 2018 IIHF World Under 18s, the, 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 NT, the NTDP would settle for a silver medal after losing the final game to Finland 3-2. He closed the tournament with six points in seven games. Now for the 2019 season, he would continue his stellar play internationally. In late 2018, his under-18 squad claimed the Five Nation Cup in Karvar, Czechoslovakia, uh, Czech Republic, with Caulfield notching seven goals and two assists in four games. The U18 squad he was on finished third in the tables of the 2019 Five Nation Cup in Sochi, Russia, where Caulfield registered at three goals and two assists in four games. Now, on April 23rd, 2019, Caulfield scored his tenth and final goal for the uh, his squad in just four games of preliminary round at the 2019 IIHF World Under-18 Championship, breaking a record 
record set by both Brett Sterling in 2002 and Stanley Cup winner Phil Kessel in 2005, which was nine goals. Now, on April uh, 27, 2019, Caulfield tiled Alexander Ovechkin's single tournament goals record, 14 goals from 2002, and inscribed his 18 career goals in a national record book in the tournament. His squad would eventually lose their semifinal match to Russia 3-2 in a shutout. Uh, with the NTBDP claiming a bronze in a 5-2 win over Canada to close uh, the tournament. He was named MVP of the championships as well as Best Afford Director of the Award, finally led the competition in goals and was named the Tournament All-Star Team. So, just to recap, World Under-17 Hockey Challenge, Gold in Canada 2017, World Under-18, Silver in silver 2018 in Russia, 2019 in Sweden, and again a gold for Canada in uh, 2021. So let's look at the basic stats, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 2018. Uh, in exhibition play, he had 31 goals for his, uh, excuse me, he had 26 goals for his under-17 team. Uh, in exhibition play, five for the under-18 in exhibition play. Uh, in the USHL, 18 goals in 21 games in under-17 play, and five goals in 11 games in under-18 play. 2019 exhibition play, he had 59 points in 36 games, going 43 goals. And for the U.S. national under-18 team at USHL, he had 29 goals and 41 points. Now, University of Wisconsin, 36 points in 2020 and uh, his final season or uh, might be his final season 52 points in 31 games now he played two goal, two games with Laval Rocket of the AHL three goals and one assist in uh, games now just to recap uh, awards and uh, what he call uh, awards and recognition okay Big Ten scoring champion uh, 2020 and 21 Big Ten Freshman of the Year 2020. All Big a Big Ten First Team 2020-21. Big Ten Player of the Year 2021. Big Ten All Tournament Team 2021. AHCA West First Team All American 2021. And of course, Laurel B. Baker, like we mentioned in uh, this campaign. Now, World Championship uh, Under 18 of MVP. Uh, best forward and all-star team in 2019 and of course he was part of that great 2021 world junior championship side now hockey runs deep in his family and technically he's a dual citizen i'm going to tell you why he's a native of musili musili wisconsin his older brother brock also plays for the wisconsin badgers men's ice hockey team but their father paul caulfield born in sioux st marie ontario played for the university of wisconsin stevens point uh, his team from 88 to 92 and remains the team's all-time leading scorer he returned to uwsb in 2002 to work as assistant coach but resigned in 2006 to assume his current position a manager of the ice hawks arena now their grandfather wayne caulfield a member of the wisconsin hockey hall of fame since 2011 played semi-pro hockey from 63 to 76 for numerous teams most notably the uh, venerable milwaukee admirals of the ushl and spent over two decades coaching youth hockey and managing hockey clinics in the milwaukee area following his retirement unfortunately he passed away on july 13th 2018. now I watch Caulfield uh, play. Uh, the only thing, uh, the only problem I, I have with the situation, will players in the NHL, once we expand uh, back to the regular NHL, will they be trying to hurt the guy head hunting? You see a lot of, lot of crap uh, Brendan Gallagher gets, although not the same type of play, the same size. But you can't hit what you can't catch. If everything goes right with Cole, and I think it will, he's going to be easily a 20 to 35 a year goal scorer. The fans are going to love him. Uh, if you see the way he plays, he learned. He's an interpretive uh, uh, athlete. And I can say this, ladies and gentlemen, I hope, I hope you respect when I say this. We're in the midst of Vladimir Guerrero with Toronto, a natural tariff talent. Bijou, Bichette, uh, Guriel, all those great uh, Blue Jays. He is comparable almost to a young baseball phenom. He's that good. I, if you watch the overtime goal he scored uh, uh, on Saturday, uh, May 1st, 
he anticipated the play. If you just keep a camera on him when the goal was scored, he went back in his own zone. He made himself open twice to get that basically the tip in that uh, put uh, pretty well Montreal in the playoffs because he needed those two points to stay out of Calgary. He's that good. And from what I've seen in interviews and conversations with the media, he's a genial gentleman. He seems to be a, a cool cat. If everything goes good, he's going to be Montreal for many years to come unless they make a mistake and trade him for an older player or whatever. Now, will he bring the Stanley Cup to Montreal? No, no, it takes... In today's NHL, you need at least seven big players. But he, he is a piece in the puzzle because having him in the lineup and his progression, you know, uh, we all know Montreal's bad draft picks of the 80s and 90s. Now a lot of them paid, uh, didn't pay, pan out. The positive publicity that he's bringing to the Habs, and we all know that a lot of uh, American hockey fans are fans of the Montreal Canadiens. So it's another reason for the U.S. fans to cheer on the Montreal Canadiens. It might lead to what they call a more recognition of the legacy of United States players involved in the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, program over the years so it's a win-win all around now for the Toronto Maple Leafs fans whether you like it or not if Caulfield <laughs> gets more confidence and uh, starts scoring goals against Toronto in the first round we were probably playing it could be interesting like I said in the previous podcast Montreal has nothing to lose and if you remember 1984 and 1986 and 1989 and 1993 when you underrate the Habs Bad things happen to the opponents, especially teams like Quebec. See, the current Toronto Maple Leafs have loved the Quebec Nordiques in them. And as you know, the Nordiques, despite Goulet and everybody else, were beatable. Toronto is beatable. They're not a dominant team. Far from it. Far from it. Anyway, that's the legend up to May 2nd, 2021 of Cole Caulfield. If this is the first time you're on the channel, please give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And uh, if you know Cole Caulfield or follow his career, great things are going to be happening for this young gentleman. It's an honor to do this podcast. The next big thing for the Montreal Canadiens, and if everything plays out, he could be, like I said, hardware could be coming his way. Rook of the year, you know, whatever. If, it, if he stays healthy, it's going to be interesting. Thanks for listening. Bye.